you're married, you have a, a great family. What advice would you give uh, to me and to others like me who, who are dumb fucks and, and have not found a Well, you're a great guy, so this definitely doesn't necessarily apply to you, but be someone who someone would want to be in a relationship with. There's a lot of people out there that want a great partner. They want someone in a relationship, but why would someone want to be in a relationship with yeah. you? You know, maybe you, you bicker a lot. Maybe you're jealous. Maybe you, uh, maybe you lie. Maybe you, uh, you know, maybe you're cruel. Maybe you're you, you don't have a sense of humor. Maybe you're you know you're not kind. Like what is what is it about you? that people would not enjoy being around or that people avoid. Fix that. Well, th Fix this that. this applies to me as well. Like you, you, you said something with Cam Haynes. One of the things you admire is the, the discipline it takes to sort of juggle so many things and yeah. do it successfully. I'm not sure I'm very good at that. So juggling all this hard work and then also a relationship. Also yeah. a relationship, also family, all yeah. those kinds of priorities. I mean, that requires having your shit together. It does. It's a different thing. But it's also you got to find the right person. There's a lot of people who sell for, they settle for sexy, they settle for hot. Oh, for uh, okay, they yeah. settle for the there wrong is. person. Like you can get hot and nice, they're out there. Yeah, but don't get hot and mean. Hot and mean is not fun. Then you get Amber Heard. Yeah, you know, and then you end get up hot. Try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be deceived by perfect symmetry. So you don't think it's a good idea to record your partner? I think you should private. record all conversations. <laughs> The CIA is doing it no matter what. I assume that every conversation I have is recorded because I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> Even when we had dinner with Alex Jones, he was recording. Yeah. I still remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know they know that was recording. Uh. He might, you know what? It'd be funny if he is the CIA. Player. He could be. Could be. Um, <laughs> That'd be the but ultimate that's joke. My advice about relationships is be somebody and then also like find someone who you can grow with, right? You don't want to be with someone who doesn't share your uh, your values. Someone You don't want to be with someone who makes excuses. You don't want to be with someone who's lazy or who's spiteful. You want to be with someone who's like genuinely kind. That's one of the things that I really love about my wife. And she's very smart and she works hard. She's like, she's a dedicated, disciplined person, but she's also really nice. That's why one of the things I like the most about her. She's so nice. She's always smiling. And that energy is great. That, yeah, I that, mean, you've that, seen us together. Yeah. You've hung around with us. She's fun. Yeah. She's, she's a lot great. of fun. Yeah. She makes you just feel great to be alive. Yeah. It's good to have people like that around you. She's happy. Yeah. She's a happy person. She's happy to be around. That's the kind of people that you could have in your life as friends and as coworkers and as lovers and wives and husbands. You can find those people. They're real. And when you find those people, your life is better. Like to have a good tribe is very important to have a good tribe of people, you know? And I think if there's anything that I'm very, very fortunate about, it's the, the people that I'm around. I have very good friends and one of which is you. It's so valuable to have quality people around you because it makes you want to do better because you admire the hard work that these put, people put in, like Mike Cam Haynes or Goggins or many of my friends, and people that are generous and people that are curious and people that are honest, they inspire you to do the same. And it's extremely valuable. It's one of the most, most valuable things is to surround yourself with positive, healthy, friendly, generous people. That's why I cut out Tim Dillon from my life. Ah, I broke up with him. I thought you He's guys not, were getting married. No, it's over. It's That's none it. of those things. The Texas nonstop, the, the nonstop conspiracy theories, <laughs> <laughs> the nonstop mocking of uh, of my Eastern European origins. Uh. It, um, <laughs> it's just not healthy for me. Um, plus, he's physically abusive and towering figure, both, both <laughs> he's emotionally, <a> big boy. <laughs> physically. No, no, I love him. Okay, if he worked out. He would be a house. <laughs> he's, he's got a such a house. large frame, you know. 